Hello everybody, welcome to the KD9 PCD radio channel. My name is Dan and I am going to be uploading this video very shortly. This is my first, uh, first ever video that I'll be uploading to YouTube. So I hope you guys like it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content that's going to be very similar. I wanted to um, just give you guys a head up heads up, I am using a DSLR camera. It is going to sound a little clunky, a little tinny. Uh, my autofocus has already given me some problems, so this isn't going to be a super high quality video, but I wanted to uh, get it out there and get it uploaded. Um, my videos in the future hopefully are going to be a bit better of a setup. So I wanted to take a quick video about uh, this Zello interface, the Zello gateway that I've got set up here, and how I set it up to make it work a little bit better for me. I know that some people have uploaded videos about theirs and how they've made it work for them. Um, I have it set up, uh, in my opinion, a little bit better um, just to kind of hammer out some of the little nuances that I've run into with those different setups. So without further ado, let's take a look. So the device that I'm using is the R1 Echolink All-Star Zello controller. This is from uh, BH7NOR uh, Radio Studio out of China. I did pay roughly 50 US dollars for this, uh, for the setup. This did come with the metal box, two USB controllers, the DIN6 interface cable, and then it also came with this uh, device to plug into the back of this Motorola uh, CDM1250 radio. So there are some different options on here. If you are using it for Echolink or All Star or with different radios, you can see that it's uh, selecting either Yezu, Kenwood, or ICOM, or Motorola. And we've got it set to the Motorola. And then ASL off or on, I believe, has something to do with PL detect. Um, I think that's for something with All Star. I'm not super familiar with it. But uh, one thing that I found is works a little bit better for me is the, the instructions tell you to plug into the USB audio and the USB detection, that middle port there, and leave the USB serial port open for the Zello application. And what it allowed me to do is what it essentially made me select Vox for transmitting from um, from my phone to the Zello application, which then comes back to this Motorola radio. And it was working okay, but it wouldn't really activate right away. And it just was kind of clunky and just was kind of a pain in my butt. So I was playing around with it and uh, I chose to change the USB from USB detection to the USB serial port which then allowed me to select a, an actual COM port as uh, my audio out. So let me show you guys what that looks like on the computer side. Now I am running, uh, instead of the free Zello version, I do have access to Zello Work. Uh, we do use Zello Work for uh, some applications at my workplace, so it's what I'm familiar with, and I was just able to add a different gateway in here to show you guys real quick how this does, uh, does work. So. When you plug it in, you get the option to select both the playback and recording devices. You want to make sure that these are USB plug and play. Um, if you don't have anything else plugged in, that's likely going to be your only option. You might also have the speakers for the computer, but you want to have the USB PNP, which is plug and play device. Now, down here when I come to the transmit, so like I said, it used to be Vox but now I've chosen COM port because I selected the USB serial device and that allows me to, anytime I uh, key up from the Zello application on my cell phone, it then will allow me to key up without any audio and activate the controlled radio, which is this one here on my desk. So let's go ahead and select OK. We are looking good. I'm going to minimize this just so I can close this and give you guys a better picture here. So I have a Motorola CDM1250 VHF uh, two meter radio, and then I have a Harris handheld as well. We're gonna be using the two meter calling channel uh, just to kind of give you guys an example of how well this really does work. So when I uh, key up and I choose to transmit over the Zello channel from my phone, what it's doing is it's transmitting that over the internet back to this computer, and then this computer is then telling 
uh, it's controlling this radio and telling it to transmit that audio out. So then anybody who is out and about with a, uh, a radio will hear, if they're listening to the same channel, they'll hear that audio that I'm keying up from my cell phone. And then vice versa, somebody talks uh, over their handheld or a mobile radio or a bass radio or whatever, and sends that signal back to this radio. This radio then converts it into the computer, sends it out over the internet, and then it comes through to my Zello phone. And it really does work very, very quickly. So uh, when I go ahead and do this demonstration, you guys will see, um, if I can focus this here on uh, the radio, you'll see the red transmit light pop up over here somewhere, and then you'll hear the audio coming out of the Harris uh, handheld radio. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. This is KD9 PCD testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Test, test. And you can hear there really isn't much of a lag, uh, but that was from my Zello app to uh, my handheld radio. Now we're gonna go ahead and give uh, a test over from the radio into the cell phone. This is KD9 PCD. And I've got some echo here. KD9 PCD, test one, two, three, four, five. All right, so like I said, there's a little bit of a lag, but really not bad at all. I do have a pretty stable Wi-Fi connection, very good Wi-Fi connection, so uh, I am uh, blessed that way. But um, it works just very well for this application. Now, I do uh, want to mention that we are... Uh, or I shouldn't say we, I am used to using a Zello work application. So we use these similar gateways at my workplace uh, for also using over VHF repeaters to kind of um, remove some of the dead space when we're out and about. Uh, I work for a public safety agency and our repeaters just sometimes aren't as adequate and we have good uh, mobile broadband coverage uh, where we don't have handheld radio coverage. So um, we've implemented that. And uh, a quick side note about Zello Work, it is free for first responder agencies that primarily run 911 calls. So uh, if you are looking for an option like that, uh, it is uh, a free option. And the hardware to install a gateway uh, is relatively cheap. So um, highly recommend looking into that as well. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video about our Zello Work gateways that I have at my workplace and uh, maybe go a little bit more in-depth about how those are working and uh, how well they work for us. So thank you guys very much for watching. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, please let me know. And uh, again, I apologize about the... Uh, constant probably noise from the motor of my lens and how awful this audio probably does sound but thanks for bearing with me and I look forward to doing my next video